Hello, everyone, and thank you to the Yossi family for helping us get our Christmas tree lit. Um, and welcome everyone to the Our Chalet second annual um, Christmas here online. We're so excited to have you guys here to help us um, celebrate Christmas just a little bit. As you may know, Christmas is quite an important holiday here in Switzerland. And so at Our Chalet, we um, like to celebrate it every year as well. Um, last year when we started this, we thought this would be a more um, normal Christmas for us with our guide and scout friends back at the center. Um, but we find ourselves still in COVID times. And so um, we're thrilled to be able to connect with you guys here um, online and to um, visit with our friends this way um, while we need to. So thank you for joining. Um, we're so excited to have you. Um, we are really excited to tell you that this year, while it's been different, um, we have gotten lots of support from many of you out there. Um, and we've gotten um, lots of fun interactions with people. And so today we'd like to share one of those with you um, because we have um, a little video to share with you of thunderation, thunderation um, to remind us of the thundering of reindeer hooves here at Christmas time. Um, and so just to show you the support we've gotten throughout the year. Um, we'd like to share this with you from Girl Guides of Ireland. We are the Girl Guides Association when we work with determination we create a sensation. Thunder, thunder, thunderation. We are the Girl Guides Association when we work with Wonderful. Thank you um, to those girl guides from Ireland. And we are we can't wait until you can come back to our chalet and sing Thunderation right here at our chalet. But we're really excited that you're finding a way to be together and still um, uh, share your girl guiding experience with other Girl Scouts or girl guides live right there in person. It was fun to see you guys together. Now we'd like to share with you some Christmas songs. Um, and the, these two Christmas songs come from all the way from Australia. So we hope you enjoy these Christmas songs. We are the Bridge Novel Girl Guides and we would like to sing you some Christmas carols. We are the Red Nosed Reindeer Had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, you go down in history.
Snowing and blowing up bushes of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime in, jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing and jingle bell swear in the frosty air. What a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time is a swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Jingle up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. Mix and mingle in the jingling feet. That's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell roll. <laughs> Christmas where the gum trees grow, there is no frost and there is no snow. Christmas in Australia's hot, cold and frosty is what it's not. When the bloom of the jacaranda tree is here, Christmas time is near. From England came our Christmas fair, they even said what Santa should wear. But now that I'm home in the summer is cool, Santa should dip in a swimming pool. Christmas where the gum trees grow, there is no frost and there is no snow. Christmas in Australia's hot, cold and frosty is what it's not. When the bloom of the jacaranda tree is here, Christmas time is near. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, bring us some piggy pudding. Oh, bring us some piggy pudding. Oh, bring us some piggy pudding. And bring it right here. The tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. So bring it right here. The tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We all like a piggy pudding. We all like a piggy pudding. We all like a piggy pudding. So for all good cheer, the tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey! Thank you and Merry Christmas! Hi there! My name is Emma and I was a volunteer at Chalet back in 2016 for the spring session. The next video you're going to see was something that I filmed while I was there exploring, hiking, skiing, and running all different programs. So enjoy.
great video showing us people at Chalet taking part in programs. But with the help of the electronic world, we can do programs with you virtually. And so um, I have the pleasure to introduce myself. I'm Chris. I'm a supporter of our chalet. I've had the pleasure of traveling to our chalet and recently doing some fundraising and as a friend of our chalet. So we are excited to do a program now with you. So several of you submitted words from Mad Lib's story that we're going to share. So here we go. This, this is with your input on this particular program. Twas the night before a sleigh ride and all, all through chalet, not a dolphin was baking nor cracking an egg. The volleys were skiing and no one was home. Tanya was at the wood carver, feeling quite alone. Stockley had been closed now for what seemed a long time. Inside Squirrel House, no one would dine. Without all the neighbors, it would not be the same. But calling by Zoom, we would see all their names. Cookies were needed, a yodeler must be had. Without Christmas baking, all would be sad. Calls went out for a ski lift for all to share. Bowden nibbling their care. Parsley was sent to one and to all from Spitzbuben, Zimstern, and a rum ball. Each person would whittle in their own fluffy home. Magical help was needed. Skippy, fairy, or gnome. Gingerbread was burned and rusty was raw. Every single marshmallow would suffer a flaw. A letter was written and sent in great haste. Without Chalet Spatzli, there'd be nothing to taste. The letter returned saying fondue was on its way, delivered by none other than Falk on a sleigh. Rosie sent help to set, sort out the mess. Candy cane elves came in orange and purple dress. They followed the recipes for apple, apple punch galore, and soon the smell of treats wafted up through the door. The recipe they used was one dear to all. They baked up raspberries for big and for small. Placed on a book with a coffee-filled cup, Santa would find a treat with which to fill up. The old man arrived in his Vespa jingling loud. The marmot bell sang of his arrival so proud. The plate of chalet treats was soon licked clean and chalet hearts were singing sweet, sweet dreams. All of the wishes and all of the care were sure to be somersaulting into the new year. So for your excitement and so for your joy, here is the recipe for each girl and boy. So that is our Mad Lib version of our poem. Now our poem actually contains um, the recipe for one of our Adelboden or chalet treats that is often served at Christmas time. So in the chat, you will be able to see the actual recipe posted. And while that's getting there and you take a look at it, I will read you the poem without the adapted Mad Lib version. Twas the night before Christmas and all through chalet, not a creature was baking nor cracking an egg. The volleys were absent and no one was home. Tanya was at chalet, feeling quite alone. The doors had been closed now for what seemed a long time. Inside the dining hall, no one would dine. Without all the neighbors, it would not be the same. But calling by Zoom, we would all see their name. Cookies were needed and a baker must be had. Without Christmas baking, all would be sad. Calls went out for a recipe to share. All of Adelboden demonstrated their care. Recipes were sent to one and to all, from Spitzbuben, Zimstern, and a rum ball. Each person would bake in their own kitchen home. Magical help was needed, elf fairy or gnome. Cookies were burned and cookies were raw. Each single cookie would suffer a flaw. A letter was written and sent in great haste. Without chalet cookies, there'd be nothing to taste. The letter returned saying cookies were on their way delivered by none other than Santa and Sleigh. Santa sent help to sort out the mess. Candy cane elves came in red and green dress. 
They followed the recipes for cookies galore, and soon the smell of treats wafted up through the door. The recipe they used was one dear to all. They baked up Spitzbuben for big and for small. Placed on a plate with a milk-filled cup, Santa would find a treat with which to fill up. The old man arrived on his sleigh jingling loud. The reindeer bell sang of his arrival so proud. The plate of chalet cookies was soon licked clean, and chalet hearts were dreaming sweet, sweet dreams. All of the wishes and all of the care were sure to be discovered in the next year. And so, for your pleasure and so for your joy, here is the recipe for each girl and boy. We hope that you have a chance to bake up some of these sweet treats and enjoy them in your home because next time maybe we can enjoy them together. So um, we're going to send you back over to Tanya and Zoe. Hello. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that very cute poem. Um, you guys did a great job in writing that. Um, that was really adorable. And I love that it ties in one of our favorite traditions, which are the Christmas cookies here at our chalet. Mm -hmm. So I hope all of you get to, to try that recipe at home and come some year and test all of the cookies that we make here at our chalet at Christmas sometime. Mm -hmm. And um, we will be posting the uh, the recipe. I'll put it in the description of the video because I tried to post it in the comments, but it splits it all up. So it's a little bit difficult to read. So I'll post it in the description of the video uh, once we're done the live stream so you can uh, read it a little bit easier. And uh, we'll also, we can also post the, um, the poem itself if you want to read it a little bit carefully because uh, they did a beautiful job writing it. They did. That was so nice <laughs> um, and tied some really neat traditions here at our chalet into it. Um, I also realized that when Chris and um, Emma were introducing themselves that uh, Zoe and I hadn't really introduced ourselves. <laughs> so um, I am Tanya and I'm the World Center Manager here at Our Chalet. Um, and I've been here a um, uh, little over eight years now. So I've had a lot of Christmases here at Our Chalet. And so it really does feel like home. Zoe? Uh, I'm Zoe. I was a volley in 2014, and I've been doing some digital programming for the last year, over a year, I guess now, and I helped with the live stream last year as well. Yeah, so Zoe has a lot of experience with all of these uh, uh, digital, well, <laughs> maybe newfound experience. <laughs> um, it's a but, new skill, uh, but... <laughs> new skill, um, and has been doing a lot of volunteering for our chalet over the last... Um, um, year and a half, probably. So mm -hmm. um, thank you very much for that. Um, so Zoe, we um, asked online for those words and people put them in. So thank you mm -hmm. to all of you who sent words in. Um, but we also asked for submissions and we've seen some of those. Um, the um, Girl Guides um, out of Ireland and out of Australia had sent some submissions. Did we have any other submissions this year? Uh, one other thing we asked for was if anybody had any, had any other Christmas traditions they wanted to submit. And we had one other Christmas tradition, um, which was a food submission, also from Australia, from Judy. Um, and she submitted a, a Christmas food that she likes to make. And I'll just put up a picture. This is some uh, uh, almond bread that she likes to make. This is what she said in her email. Australia is very multicultural and Adelaide has a high Italian population. So I suppose this is why almond bread has become a Christmas tradition too. So this looks very beautiful. And thank you for sharing, Judy. <laughs> that looks fabulous and looks like it would be really good dipped in coffee or hot chocolate. It would be great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next time you come to visit, Judy, bring us some almond bread so we can try totally. that. Totally. Or we can just dip down to Italy and get some probably. But it probably mm -hmm. wouldn't be as good as Judy's. It's a little closer, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, Zoe, what's next? Uh, to close us out, we thought we would uh, bring back a submission that we had last year, uh, because again, like you said at the top, we were hoping that maybe we would have a little bit more of a traditional Christmas this year at, at Chalet, but uh, we're digital again. And uh, last year, uh, a former volunteer, Bex, submitted a beautiful song that she wrote um, that was all about how, uh, this year, we weren't all able to gather in person and how chalet, you know, it's that we weren't able to do as, as uh, the same 
chalet Christmas as we normally would. And she did such a beautiful song that we thought we would use it again this year because it made us tear up a little bit last year. So we thought we'd bring it up, bring, bring it back again. Um, so here is Bex's uh, beautiful uh, rewritten cover song of a Christmas classic. Let's take a look. It's Christmas Day, yeah, all around the world, it's good to see you with everybody, thanks to our chalet team. We are the lucky ones to join in with these songs. The stars atop the tree, rescued from miscopy. So happy Christmas! I hope you're singing too. We can dream of better times Where all our dreams come true Yes, my blood's navy blue, I will cancel, I mold. The weather don't face me, I'm camped in the cold. When I first made my promise at five years old, I didn't know then what good memories behold. We got camping and crafting, we canoeing and rafting. Please name all your items or risk them be lost. It's raining, not hailing, so please stop your wailing. Now let's all go sailing. No, I haven't got your socks. I'll remember all around. Say it's the guiding way And the candles are lit today For our chalet We've got sparks, we've got stars We've got brownies galore We've got one thing in common We love a good small Adventures we will have There's no need to be sad But please wear your earplugs Your leaders all snore Our members all around the world Say it's the guiding way And the candles are lit today At our chalet The laundry is all done The dinner bell has rung The volleys have gone home It's sad, yes, this is true But it's not all that bad The black in 22 With open doors again Our chalet will welcome all of you our members all around the world say it's the guiding way And the candles are lit today at our chalet Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Thank you Thank all you for all joining, for joining us. us. Um, it's, um, been it's been absolutely, absolutely wonderful, wonderful to have you. And um, 
we uh, we will leave you with that thought and memory. Um, but we did want to just touch base with all of you for just about 30 minutes today um, to wish you a Merry Christmas, um, to say we do miss you at our chalet and we can't wait to have you back on site. But until then, um, we'll all stay connected electronically. Um, and so we wish you a very healthy um, new year and we hope that you all stay safe. Merry Christmas. Bye, everyone. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.